The world's not made for people who can't see. It's a learning process. Just grabbing a cane and walking isn't, isn't it simple. To see people take advantage of this opportunity to improve their own lives is inspiring. Just watching them grow in front of me, I sometimes feel like I get paid to laugh. They've been given confidence to do the job in the workforce, and the performance tells a lot about that. It's a new field. Vision rehabilitation has only been around for maybe 40 to 50 years. There aren't cures for what we deal with, but we do perform miracles. When we first got in there, we were scared to death. I couldn't imagine having to do this without the benefit of CVI and, and the people and the, and the services they bring together. We started taking Mason to CVI when he was five weeks old. Those of us that use vision get a big jump start over those who aren't using vision. Because development starts from the head and goes down to the feet, our babies need to have other ways to learn those same skills. Learning how to implement those social skills and those academic skills and to deal with real life so that they're going to be successful in kindergarten. Watching him explore new textures, new activities, new toys in a really caring, loving environment has been incredible to watch his development. Certain people, they think visually impaired people can't accomplish a lot because we have an impairment. And I have shown and want to continue showing them that we can. I would like to see every child that comes through this program receive their fair share in life. And I want them to learn to believe in themselves and to think big and dream dreams. The kids are fantastic. They're very inspiring. It's contagious. It's really contagious. It's helped me a lot. Formed a lot of friendships with the volunteers, with um, a lot of star students that go here. And of course, we all love Miss Annie. Support groups, social skills, individual counseling, family counseling. They discover different parts of their personality, not just their visual impairment. It kind of gives them a sense of, I can do it. I'm going to UGA. I'm going to study English and Spanish. And I want to be a writer or an editor for a newspaper or novels. And help me realize something about myself that I haven't before. I know that these kids have great potential. They can hold everyday jobs and have families and do anything that I can do. I went through a lot of training and it was great. Everybody there seems to have understood what I was going through with losing my vision. I'm able to do the things that I like to do. There people learn how to write their resume, uh, they practice interviewing skills, and they begin working with our vocational evaluator to determine what kinds of interests they have. With technology, I can do whatever I want as long as I'm motivated to do it. I can read, I can type, I can read off the computer. Right now I'm reading a case for an international extradition for a murder case. I'd never worked with anyone visually impaired before. I was blown away. I was blown away. I feel very welcome here, and that's very important coming from not working for a long time and then coming into this. As a manager, you really want to find a motivated employee, and that's what we found in Katoya. Instructors here, many of them have visual impairments. And so there is a degree of empathy. It redirects your way of thinking. To teach them how to cross the street, take them to the airport, put them on a martyr train, and do things that people probably felt like they weren't going to ever be able to do. We work as a multidisciplinary team. The low vision therapist trains the person to use their vision through these specific devices. Also in the adult program, we work with senior citizens, with the older adults, and their primary goal is to remain in their home as independent as they can. These glasses 
I got at the center. They're real funny looking, you'll die laughing. Let me put them on the right way, like this. There is a thread that weaves all these people and programs together. Whether it's the Begin children transitioning into STARS or STARS children transitioning into higher education or employment, and then certainly the Low Vision Clinic is a lifelong resource. There's so much more, though, that needs to be done. In Atlanta, people who want to buy special equipment for the visually impaired have no choice but to use the internet or catalogs. The visibility store will enable people to try the items before they make a purchase. We have a store, uh, which is a huge step forward. I like the idea of the Low Vision Clinic expanding its services. The main cause of vision loss for working age adults is diabetes. And we all know the epidemic that diabetes is right now. There are about 250,000 people across the state that have significant vision loss. That number is expected to double. The impact is $1.14 billion a year. Our goal is to turn tax users into taxpayers. Even if you're blind, you can sense their smile. To see the children who are now young adults, who had started with BEGIN, and are now graduating from college is overwhelming. I'm just not handicapped. I just will not allow myself to be. It's been amazing here. I'm really going to miss everybody and everything I've done, and I hope to see them soon. My best wish for him is for him to be independent, have meaningful employment, and have a family, and really experience life just as I have. This is just the beginning, not the end.